Hi friends, I am Sanjay. I believe you are good. Today our discussion topic will be support detail for all services. So I already shown every model for this room only and this is the bedroom area and this is the kitchen and this is toilet area. So I have finished all the services like ducting, uh, firefighting, uh, water supply, drainage and riser detail also. So in this video, I will show you how to support the services like duct first then for other pipe services. So I already load one support for drain pipe and this support is like that and I will place the other support for the remaining services. So go to the level 2 load plan. In this plan view you can check the duct support I already placed in the before videos and there I show how to make this support also. You can check the link also for this video and uh, I will do what uh, this remaining duct I did not show any support. So first uh, let me finish the duct support okay. So let me copy it from there. Okay, copy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, place it here. So I will rotate it uh, 45. Okay, so our first priority will be the elbow. If you measure from this duct edge, you have to give the space maximum 600 uh, for support placing. Okay, so DL. Uh, let me draw a line from this edge. Uh, 600 means it will come here. So our support will be inside the 600 mm length. I have to place it or one thing move it this point from here. Then I will move it again. So it will be now 50. Okay. So in that case also the from the edge the sub rod center will be 50. Okay. So DL from the edge I will move to a line 50. So I will make it this uh, snap but it will be not 100% proper okay this is okay perfect delete the line delete this line also okay so let me check uh, by section I'll move the section from here to there mm, okay let's go to view mm, let me check check let me make the section small okay move it little bit so our support is here so i have to align the support up to the duct edge move it first and here i will move it like that and this snap point is here it will be up to the slab for this duct the support detail is ready so i have to copy it for the another duct uh, this is a fresher duct and uh, the snap should be the up to this mark and go to the plan view here what i'll do move the point rod point mm, from here to insulation edge then again move move 50 mm up okay in this area what i'll do mm, from elbow from edge of the elbow i have to place the support 300 maximum distance okay so dl from the here 300 means this distance i have to move the support mm, okay so delete the line and in this case dl i have to make the rod distance 50 mm from the insulation edge i have to stretch the edge manually because mistakenly i do not set this snap to the rod point okay so this is exactly almost right so let me delete the lines okay and the support is here let me go to the section view let's check it is clashing with pipe I hope yes it is clashing so what i will do if i can move the water supply from this location to here what will happen so it is coming from the riser so i cannot move the uh, this pipe so i have to adjust the support little bit okay so go to the view and what i'll do just little bit extend inside ins you can move it inside or outside both are okay but i have to make it minimum 25 uh, it is more than 25 okay now it is okay so what i'll do for that duct also we need support so let me copy from here then rotate 45 no 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 90 90 okay sorry 45 okay from 
first i will measure it mm, tl from this edge it should be mm, 300 okay so if i make the support in midpoint of the duct then also okay tl again move the support from here to here so mm, move the rod center point up to the insulation edge then again move up mm, from this point and um, it will be 50 for this rod point i have to make it 50 so let me measure it delete the line um dl from the insulation edge it will be 50 okay so now let me extend mm -hmm. okay little bit this is almost okay no need to do it properly for this duct and this duct both are in the same elevation so no need to check the section for this support so i will do another support for this corner so let me copy it from here and then rotate it 45 only then fix it here dl again you can measure it from this corner it should be maximum 600 but if you make it less than 600 then also no problem okay so let me move this support center from here now it looks that it is not 50 so i have to make it 50 move it from this point to insulation edge then again move it off 50 so it is 50 here here also this is 50 is from the insulation edge okay let me check in the 3d okay um, what i do here uh, it is not clashing with the services like water supply and drainage pipe okay i believe the water supply may clash with the support let me do a section for this area um, this is almost clashing here so it is very tight situation for this pipe and support so what i will do let me check the 3d if i can move down the pipe then it will be very helpful so i don't want to move the duct and this pipe is here and this um, okay i can move down so let me go to the section here then select the both pipe move it only 25 mm okay let me check in 3d so it is now not clashing with the support uh, okay this is okay so what i'll do then delete the line and i will copy um, copy for another location so this distance will be uh, okay so it will be here okay here for this corner okay so i have to place one more support for this corner okay let me go to the 3d so for this duct this pressure duct we place one support here this corner this corner this corner and this corner this is finished and for the fcu we already place the supports and for this corner of this supply hidden duct we already place the support and for this corner we place the support and here also support here one needs support here for this location so let me copy this support mm, copy it center line and this center line so oh, okay let me check this section for this support okay so this is okay and uh, let's go to this area uh, okay 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 so now okay no problem so all the ducts so only the kitchen duct need to support so what i'll do i already place a support here so i will copy it from this corner for here rotate it 90 then move it exactly here then move it we can shift it up to 300 okay so here we need how much distance ti this is 618 and this is what i told the support should be uh, from duct edge it should be 600 if it comes up to here then one support is enough for for this entire duct okay so move it let me check again 
um, and this is less than 600 okay and this is 600 exactly so we don't need any more support for this duct so i will copy it um, from this here to um, here in this location okay so let me check by section rotate it um, 90 then then here place it here uh, go to the section so let me move the support from here to here so stretch it up to the slab bottom so now it is okay so for this corner it is okay if i measure a distance 600 mm from this ductage so if i move the support from here to this location so it is 600 from the edge one support is enough for this duct then delete these lines and for this corner duct we need to support mm, copy it from here then rotate mm -hmm. rotate 90 then place it here okay almost i want to make a center the support center is here and duct center is here so now it is okay so if i draw a section on this support uh, it is clashing or not let me check go to view okay it is clashing so what i'll do i'll stretch the support rod up to this because i already have space so it is now not clashing with the pipes so let me check on the 3d so for this duct we place the support for this corner for this corner for this corner and for this area no support so i have to place the support so first i'll copy it and make 2 meter distance okay then copy again 2 meter and it is coming on the wall so I have to move it so move by 200 meter is it enough not I have to make it more 50 right side mm, okay now it is okay let me check in the 3d so one support is here no problem other support okay so all the ducts are supported in the plan view means in, inside the room so now i have to support the duct for the riser area okay so let me check what i have for the duct risers so these are the duct support so it will be duct accessories so d a duct accessories so let me check i have any support for the riser i believe no so what i make here Mm, pipe accessories p a pipe accessories maybe i loaded yes this is chill load riser support i can make it for the duct riser also so what i'll do mm, select this support and place it here so this is pipe accessories categories i want to make it duct accessories okay so let me edit the family first then uh, let me change the categories and this is pipe accessories so i want to make it duct accessories so go to this family categories parameters so here i want to change it should be duct accessories and then okay then save as the file okay this family so its name should be um, duct riser support okay duct riser support okay then save then i will load it into the project so load into project and Mm -hmm. now the support will be the same but the it is duct accessories okay so the pipe accessory support i will delete it because no need i already make the duct accessories then i want to move it here this location and our slab edge is here so what i'll do this plate i will fix it on this slab edge okay so i will rotate it um, 180 i will move it um, from here to this slab edge and what i will do this is the duct edge align first okay then you can stretch the point up to this mark okay and i want a section for this support what will happen let me check go to view i need to check the support location first okay and this support should be on the slab so i will move it um, in this location 
and our big duct is here then i have to move it this edge and duct edge okay then mirror it then i have to make a copy center line axis okay the one support will be here and another is here let me check on the 3d so support is not visible because our section box is another range let me so on section box mm -hmm. okay uh, okay now stretch it up to this mark mm, now our section will be visible because the slab is here okay so it is okay for this duct if i make the support on this edge also no problem but i prefer this edge is okay mm, so similar way i will make support for this fresh air duct okay go to the plan view copy then copy it first then move from up to this location and let me check on the section mm, move it up to the insulation here no issue then move it up to the duct insulation edge so now it is okay let me check on the 3d so it is now okay very much good so in the same way for this duct also i want to copy so copy it in the midpoint and midpoint let me check in the 3d so it is also okay no problem so in this way i can support the duct risers so it is okay fine for me this is okay if i go to the section what i told um this mock-up room will be copy for the other floor means the duct riser will go and up to the roofs and whatever i will copy the duct setting with support detail every support should be on the slab edge if you want to place the support on the wall generic wall basic wall so it is not okay because it has no sufficient strength to hold it so for that we have cleared the support for the risers and whatever is this duct we need support i want to copy this support mm, copy it from this location up to the center mark okay let me move it up to the edge because this duct is passing through the wall so this wall itself acting as a support so no need to support here so only make support for this end portion this is okay so let me check in the 3d what is the remaining mm, okay go to the view front view okay let me cut 3d view up to this mark mm -hmm. let me check no i want to cut more up to this mark this is okay i believe uh, this is okay so for the all duct i place the support even in the riser in the issue ducts everywhere i place the support so now our tux will be for the drainage pipe support okay so fresh, so new.